How's it going everybody? My name is TJ with Homestead Implements and today we are getting the food plot prepped and ready for hunting season that's coming up in October. So we're going to be showcasing the differences between the bottom plow and the disc harrow and the rotary tiller. The bottom plow and the disc harrow are a really nice combination because you can take that bottom plow and turn over the soil and get it prepped for the disc harrow, run it through, grind it up and get it ready for seeding and getting ready for planting. The rotary tiller does a little bit of both at the same time. It just takes a little more PTO and a little bit more time to let it roll down through at a slower pace. After we're done with everything, we're gonna be running the culture packer down through and that's gonna push the seeds into the ground and making it easier for them to grow. So with a bottom plow, the first thing you wanna do is use it to till up and roll over that soil. So you get all the nutrients up on the top and then you take your disc harrows and you run it down through after to be able to make sure that it's cutting everything up, chopping it, smoothing it out so you're ready to plant. So here's the rows that we had with our bottom plow. You can see how deep it turns over the soil right across there. And so now we're starting to till it over with the discs. So with discs goes from that big hard uh, turned over soil to now grinding it up and making it much better for planting. So the seeds can be actually get into the soil. So as you're doing your food plot, every once in a while you'll come across a couple boulders or rocks that you'll pick up and kick up whenever you're actually tilling up and disking. So it's really nice to actually have a rock bucket on the front of your tractor. What that allows you to do is to pick and choose and to find all these rocks and pull them out of your uh, food plot before they become a problem. So once we're done going through this a few more passes, we're going to actually use the rotary tiller over on this section right here. And we're going to run the rotary tiller there and see the difference between the two. So one nice thing about the R rotary tillers is that they come with the slip clutch as standard. What that allows you to do is when you hit a rock or a root or something that's going to stall out your tractor, it will allow those plates to be able to slip and keep going without having to have a shear pin. What a shear pin does is it snaps and it breaks so that when you're going and you hit a rock, it shears that pin and then you have to turn your PTO off, stop, get off your tractor, replace the pin before you can keep going. Now it might be a little difficult to see on camera, but look how smooth running over with the rotary tiller is compared to just disking and bottom plow. So the left here is right here. This is all when we disked it and we ran it with the bottom plow. And then this all here from here to here, that's all from the rotary tiller. So you can see how much softer, finer this is after doing all that work. So look at, look at this. There we go. Look at how soft and powdery that is. Here, you can see the line. And then, still got chunks of stuff with the disc harrow. The disc harrow will work, but it's not powder smooth. Now that everything's all tilled up, we're gonna go get the cultipacker and the cedar, put the fertilizer and the seed together, spread it out, get the cultipacker and pack everything down in and let those seeds be able to grow. Today was quite the day. We went from bottom plowing to disc harrows to rotor tillers and then seeding and cult packing all within the same day. So in short, you guys can use a bottom plow and a disc harrow to turn that soil over and use the disc to be able to smooth it all out. It will give it a little bit of a choppy type feel, but you get deeper than you can with a rotary tiller. If you guys want to go with a straight up rotary tiller only and then forget about the bottom plow and disc harrow, that's also fine. If you guys have any questions about anything you've seen today, you can get a hold of us at 833-625-0635. We'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Catch you on the next one.